It's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Convicted school shooter Ethan Crumbly back in court this morning for a Miller hearing to determine if he is eligible for life without parole. Now, on November 30th, 2021, Crumbly opened fire inside Oxford High School, killing four students and injuring several others. This morning, a licensed psychologist and counselor who met with Ethan multiple times following the deadly shooting took the stand. He discussed Ethan's relationship with his parents, text messages that Ethan had with his friends, and about his relationship with Oxford schools. During this morning's hearing, also revealed emails between teachers and other school officials about Crumbly's assignments and actions in class in the days leading up to that shooting. We will have much more on today's hearing starting tonight on TV5 News at 5. Well, police in Saginaw are searching for possible suspects related to an overnight shooting in the city. Michigan State Police say just after midnight, a 33-year-old Saginaw man was shot in the chest on South 11th Street. That man is at the hospital in stable condition. Authorities are asking anyone with information about that shooting, please call police. Well, a former local city official was in court this morning. Former Genesee County Clerk John Gleason is facing a 10 count warrant involving campaign fund violations. The Genesee County Sheriff's Office says that the first seven counts are 90 day misdemeanors that involve legal defense fund campaign violations. Three additional charges involve commingling funds. Now here's Diane with a look at your forecast. As we go into the month of August, we are finding that July we were playing catch up as far as our rain and water is concerned for the Saginaw area. A brand new record in the books as far as the amount of rainfall picked up last month. 6.9 inches to be exact, taking in that first place spot. Just into second is 6.83, so didn't take much, but that is a new record. As far as Flint and the rain gauge there, that still added up to be our 13th wettest July in the Flint area just sitting at 5.03 inches. Now, as far as additional rainfall for today, we are looking at a setup that will once again bring us some showers and storms similar to yesterday. So into the afternoon, you will find that those rain chances start to develop around 3, 4 o'clock, and even into the 5, 6 o'clock hour, we'll be seeing some of those spotty showers and thunderstorms. Stronger storms not expected. We'll just have your general summer thunderstorms is what we'll be working with. The forecast does dry out by Wednesday morning, and though this gets a little more painted as far as rain chances into your Wednesday afternoon. There is a stray shower possible, though many for your Wednesday are going to make it out with a dry forecast. But also kicking off today is the Saginaw County Fair. If you're going to be there for the opening day excitement, plan on temperatures to be into the 70s for your afternoon and evening. Just be mindful of those rain chances that can develop. So make sure you take that TV5 first alert weather app with you and keep an eye to radar. That's what we're going to be doing here, though, for the rest of this week. You'll find Wednesday and Thursday, we're still seeing those slight chances for some rainfall, but Friday and Saturday do dry out as highs slip back from those upper eight or mid 80s to the upper 70s. But we do finish out that seven day forecast with a, once again a chance of rain and highs into the lower 80s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.